Hey YouTube, it's your girl Yona Marie, and today I want to give you a few tips to help you avoid vocal fatigue. Yona Marie music, create with me. So technically when you overuse your voice, when you sing too much, you speak too much, you shout too much, it's not your voice getting tired, but it's the muscles in your larynx getting tired. When you overwork your muscles like that, it can cause dryness, irritation, sore throat, scratchiness, and loss of voice completely, which can really mess you up if you're a musician like me, who sings on the daily as a part of their job. Fortunately, preventing vocal fatigue is pretty easy to do as long as you're being mindful of what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and you can be consistent with good habits. So the first tip I wanna start with is very simple and almost a no-brainer. You wanna make sure you're doing vocal warm-ups before speaking or singing for a long period of time. Especially if you have a gig in the morning to do, you don't want to just start by singing hard or working your vocal muscles way too hard because you're going to cause irritation that's not going to help you before and after that gig. So there's a few vocal warm-ups I like to use. Actually, they're on YouTube and I'll leave a link in the description to those, but there's some vocal teachers that have some really well laid out warm-ups. It won't take you long to go through at all. So take the time to check those out and maybe store them in your bookmarks. It doesn't matter what genre you perform in, it will still be a very helpful warm-up for you as long as you're staying consistent. Most professional singers know that they need to vocally warm up, but not a lot of people talk about vocal cool downs, which is a very simple and helpful process that you should look into if you're not familiar. Vocal cool downs are very similar to warming up, but it's just in reverse. So it's binding your vocals down so that when you're back to regular speaking, you aren't overworking yourself. I'll also leave a link in my description to some vocal cool down exercises that you can implement in your process as well. Speaking of overworking your voice when you're talking normally after a gig, there's actually something called the Lombard effect that you want to avoid. The Lombard effect is when you're in a very loud environment and you subconsciously overwork your voice. You make sure you're projected. You make sure everybody around you can hear you over the loud environment, but you're actually unhealthily overworking your voice. Working way too hard with those muscles in your larynx, which can cause vocal fatigue. You probably had it before. Maybe you've been out to a club one night. You're partying with your friends. Y'all are shouting at each other, having fun in the club. You go home and you're like, I don't have no voice. That happens to me a lot. And a few times it has happened to me on a Saturday night when I had a Sunday morning gig. And guess what? I was out of luck because my vocal muscles was like, mm -mm, you ain't treat me right last night. So if you're a singer or you're a speaker, you have a gig the next day, but you're out at night, send texts to your friends, okay? Do hand signals, whisper in somebody's ear. Just wait to talk. Don't be shouting in the club. I know you can be tempted to sing your favorite song when you're out and about, you're drinking, which is something else that I'm going to talk about later but avoid all of that because it's unnecessary stress on your voice that will really affect you in the future another simple one i don't have to talk about much is to make sure you hydrate yourself now everybody knows that hydration is good for vocal health but not enough people know that you need to hydrate two hours before your gig you can't just be like okay i'm dehydrated i got this gig coming up in 15 minutes so let me just gulp down this glass of water and then i think i'll be good no it takes your body about two hours to actually get that water in your system and hydrate your voice properly so don't forget to hydrate make sure you're hydrating throughout the day don't be that type of person that doesn't drink enough water throughout the day and then your gig comes up and you're like oh no i need to chug some water just drink water consistently throughout your day and you won't have to worry about that at all another simple tip is to go on vocal rest from time to time if you have a gig coming up and you know you're gonna be singing or speaking for hours don't work your voice don't work your voice at all for the hours leading up and for the hours after. Just give your voice time to shine for that gig only and give it a rest because whatever you're doing before and after is probably not as important as the actual gig itself. So stay quiet, send out texts, talk to people on social media, but don't use your voice that much. Vocal rest can save a lot of stress on the muscles in your larynx. Now my next tip is hard and I can't even stop doing this myself. I'm still working on it, but try not to clear your throat. We all get tempted to just clear our throat from time to time. Maybe we were eating something recently, had some dairy, something was in our throat, we got allergies. Try not to clear your throat. Also, try not to cough. I know it's pretty impossible to do, especially if you're like me and you suffer from allergies year round. But try just drinking some water or swallow some of your saliva. That's a better thing to do than clearing your throat or coughing because it actually could cause a little bit of damage over time to your voice. I know I'm about to go clear my throat after I'm done with this video, but I'm still working on myself, okay? And my last tip, people not gonna like it that much either per se, but avoid alcohol and avoid caffeine because it can really dry out 
your throat and it'll basically do the opposite of what water is doing for you so avoid alcohol drink teas but avoid caffeinated teas so you'll need to avoid a lot of your black teas a lot of green tea has caffeine in it too so be careful with that find a green tea that doesn't have caffeine i left a link to my blog in the description where you'll find seven of the best teas that i recommend for singers so i hope my tips will help we've all suffered from vocal fatigue before it's not a big dire thing but it can really mess you up not only does vocal fatigue cause hoarseness but you can get a dry throat scratchy throat irritation tightness in your throat it can even cause some people shortness of breath and that can really mess you up if you're a singer or a speaker so make sure you're keeping these tips in mind and make sure you check out the links in the description because it can be really helpful to you thank you for tuning in and if this was helpful for you please consider subscribing and checking out my site at yonamariemusic.com